Pisces, welcome to your Astro Flower weekly reading game from the 19th through to the 26th of June. How are you doing? Have you seen your Solstice three monthly readings? It's out on our channel. You can go and have a look at that at any given point. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have the best of readings. Overall energies, you've got the uh, Page of Swords opening the pathway. Opening the pathway mentally, so seeing it very clearly and actually using your mental agility because you've got a lot of it. Um, Pisces, um, using your mental agility to open that pathway at the moment. I think that's what, um, you know, the universe is stimulating you mentally with ideas to open possibilities within your life. On your relationship side, you have the Queen of Wands on your karmic message. So this is your karmic message for your relationship side. Here is how the universe is influencing it, how your guides are influencing it from the past, how your guides are influencing it from the future, and what the overall outcome is. Queen of Wands, getting into learning about the magic of life, of how wonderful it is, using your passions to that fire that is within you. And you do have a lot of fire, Pisces. Don't tell me you don't. Um, you have a lot of fire within you and using that fire really to sort of instigate or to provoke that magic um, will be really good for you. I nearly said marriage then. Did you notice? So it might be for some of you, it could be that. You maybe need to promote it and pro uh, provoke it. Um, the um, yeah, marriage hierophant. The universe here is, is encouraging you to be in unison. But it's also encouraging you to understand the physical, um, the physical steps to get to your happiness. And it's usually sort of like a learned card, someone who's a teacher in a way, um, who explains through action, uh, basically, the Hierophant. One of my most favourite cards, actually. Um, and, you know, they tend to be giving blessings to others. I think it's through your actions, through your passions, that you are actually going to connect with the people that are around you. And the universe is trying to encourage that within your life. And, yeah, it could well be marriage. It could well be hooking up with someone in a very long-term sense. Wow! You water signs are owning it. Really are owning it. You know, from your past self, you get the emperor. And yes, I think you've had an amazing past six months. I don't necessarily think it's all been fantastic. Some of it might have been very, very difficult for you. But you've had an amazing, um, uh, you know, amazing past. And I think this is what they're trying to sort of say to you. Through your experiences, you should be owning it now. You should be sitting in your power because you should know who you are. If you don't... Take time out with a little bit of meditation, realise what you've been through and realise how strong you are. That's what it's sort of saying here. And I think that strength, you can be adding to it with an empress somewhere around you. And that's what's led you to this situation, knowing who you are um, and what you're about. And now it's a case of adding your passions into that situation. In your future self, yes, it's giving its... Um, giving you a helping hand i think to step into your power um uh it's giving you a pass it's taking you to calmer climates because you're settling yourself with that hierophant card of how the universe is trying to encourage that within you um so you're, you're going to some place and you, that person has that child with them and that is your bright new tomorrow that is your new juvenation within you um and i think you're going to be rejuvenating yourself um, and your guides are helping you out here. So I would also be very attentive to the coincidences that are around you within your relationships because it's going to help you get to those karma shorts, get to that beautiful place where you can really allow your passions to just go wild. Let's just see what's going on on your material side of your life. Um, yeah, karmic message. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it is a choice. Basically, your karmic choice here at the moment is to choose what works for you. Yeah? Or what works, what brings you in the results. Don't, don't waste your time trying to spin too many plates. Concentrate on the plate that's feeding you, basically. That's what your karmic message is here. I think that's really important for you because you've got yourself to a position where um, you have this sort of knowledge or this uh, aura that that makes people kind of go oh pisces what yeah right they're really powerful 
without having to impose it upon the world around you. Um, so you've got a, I think you've had a lot of choices or you, you can really choose the best fruit. And maybe your karmic mission is to choose the best fruit on the tree. Be the first one to choose the best fruit. From the uh, your devil, from the devil, from the universe you get the devil. Is the universe trying to be a devil with you? I think basically the devil is also Lucifer, so it's the light bearer. So I think the universe is bringing you truths, home truths, about your workspace, about your job, your business and your projects, being very clear with about what you're going into. That's what the universe is sort of saying here to you. I don't think it's trying to trick you because the, the devil doesn't do that. It's not what the devil does. You know, people sort of say the devil sort of likes a very tricky and, and mischievous and, you know, sort of divisive and stuff like that. The actual devil, as far as I know, um, they bring their light to the situation. So they show you all the possible paths that you can take. And that is what is tempting you. That is the temptation. Um, then it is you who takes one of those temptations it's not the devil doesn't force you down it at all but the devil will be it cannot lie to you will be ultimately true to you and that's where the devil can actually help you to find your true path and i think this is what the universe is doing for you it's trying to help you find your true path your true inner being um absolutely i think that's a really good card for you it's almost as well the, the universe is almost sort of something going again this is this is the point you need to deal with because you've got the two of pentacles here. This is the point you've got, you you need to deal with and will not let you go off on a tangent until you've dealt with that point. And I think that's where the obsessive side of the devil comes into it. Let's just see how your guides are influencing you. Yeah, I think you've been procrastinating in the past sort of like few weeks, umming and ahhing about situations. And it may give you that sensation of, I have been stuck, rather than I am stuck. And this is where the Page of Swords, the overall energy here, is giving you those bright ideas to head forward, to move it out of that position of being stuck. And I think your guides are being honest with you and sort of saying, you know, in the past you've been a little bit sort of stuck in your ways or, you know, um, procrastinated, didn't make the choice. Uh, now the time to sort of like um, see your evident path and head down it. Your future, and this is where you're egging on to, is the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. You've created a scenario where you, within your career path and your business and your projects, you can collect fruit continuously as you go forward. But it also is to do with connection with everything that is around you. It's also to do with divine communication in a way. Um, how you communicate with the world that is around you. How you communicate with other people that is around you. And it's that communication brings you in benefits. And what was I saying earlier on about the Two of Pentacles? Choose what really feeds you. Choose what's really working for you. And that's what's coming out there. You know, the, the um, Nine of Pentacles is what you're... You know, you, you provide, I think you provided it for yourself more than anything else. Uh, and now it's choosing the things that really work for you. Take that fruit. Be that first person to take the fruit off the tree. You know, that's what it's all about. The overall energy at the end is the five of wands. Now, I, I you know, this, I, it's a learning card, right? So five of pentacles is, a uh, uh, five of pentacles, the five is in the middle somewhere. It's the pentacle. It's the pentagram. It's the magic. It's that magic of the Queen of Wands that I was talking about there. Um, it is that pentacle. It is that um, pentagram. It is using magic for um, to learn, to understand. And that is the magic of life. Learning. You know, we all do that constantly, regardless. I'm not talking about necessarily going to university here. You know, I did the University of Life. It's been an amazing learning curve. And one of the lessons needs to be learned that sometimes you just need to pull yourself out of a conflictual situation. And as you do, you end up as that person there that's holding that staff there and sort of saying, 
I know where I'm going. I've got my wand. I've got my passion, queen of pa queen of um, queen of wands. I know where I'm going. I'm extruding myself from the situation and heading off into a new di di um, uh, paradigm, into a new dimension. You're leaving four wands behind you, a chaotic four wands, and going into four wands, which is the celebration, marriage the unison, all of that sort of thing in the in the sort of passionate sort of way. And that's where you're heading for. And it's just waiting for you and it just needs to now, I think, um, sort of get on and take to the path. Take to where you should be going. So it's almost realising the best example of yourself. You know, those four other people that are around could be like the worst examples of you. And you've chosen now to be the best example of you. That's what it's all about, as far as I can see. Let's just see what's going. Give yourselves a bit of a clarification on the light series cards. Thank you very much for being here, Pisces. Really do appreciate your support and uh, your actions upon this channel, sort of like subscribing, liking, sharing, and all of that malarkey. Uh, really do appreciate it. Let's just see what's going on with the Page of Swords. You get the judgment. This page of swords, this overall energy here, is trying to bring you to your rightful place, your 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 true path. Um, that's what it's trying to give you those ideas, which lifts you up. You know, gives you a sensation of ascension that you're moving on. And I think this is ties in with the eight of swords and also with the six of swords. You're moving on. You're leading on to leading on with what works for you and what makes you passionate about within your relationships. And it's a realization that's happening here with that, um, with that judgment card. You're being called, uh, you know, to your higher self. Um, what's going on with the queen of wands? You get the six of cups. Hmm. Everything that we've lived in the past, this is where you're going, ties in with the six of swords there. You're going on to karma shores. Your passion, you should know that is within you because it's been there in the past. And it's saying to you, you know, why not use those passions of the past to open the doors of the passions for tomorrow? You know, knowing yourself, knowing the things that make you kind of go, yeah, life's great. You know, that's all they're yeah, it's fantastic. I love that person. Or I love being with that person. Or I love doing those activities with that person and stuff like that. You know, and it could be someone from the past that sort of provokes this sort of like passion that is within you. With the Hierophant, you get the magician this is really powerful the universe here is really it's giving you everything in order to put into action your power or your truth that is or the truth that the part of the truth that is in you that you can start manifesting your understanding of how a relationship should be or how you you know how you want it to be basically and connecting with those other people. And you can, you know, you can manifest what you like. And I, I think it should be, you know, very much in line with your passions. With the Emperor, you get the Queen of um, Cups. This is an amazing combination. It could be a case that you've already met someone, someone you already know that with your mechanical ways of being control of your physical world as it were and, or, and around you um you're meeting with someone who radiates a lot of energy and a lot of um, love and stuff like that or you know so they bring that to the party which brings balance and harmony to you i'm, I'm getting another thing it's sort of overriding me at the same time as i'm saying it maybe it's a case here that through your um understanding that what physically makes you kind of go yes this is what relationships are all about having a cup of tea with auntie mavis and a bit of cake on the on the terrace or on the porch or on the balcony looking at life and just chewing over the cud you know chewing over the fat as it were um whatever whatever floats your boat basically and it's just going to make you radiate doing these knowing that is going to make you radiate with joy that's what it's sort of doing here. So let's see what's going on with the Six of Swords. You get justice. You've got justice and judgment in here. And 
very very powerful reading for you water signs at the moment justice and this is where justice comes in and it takes you on to karma shorts because you know what floats your boat you you're putting your passions into it you have that understanding from the universe uh, which gives you that rightful place to manifest this future uh, which gives you your just desserts and you're heading towards it and you're getting a lot of help from a lot of things that are around you and it's going to be incredibly happy 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 times for you basically let's just see what's going on, on your material front there you go that's jumping out of you trust in what feeds you this is a bit of a leap of faith in almost because sometimes pisces you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and the thing is if you did that with everything, you're not going to have to carry a lot of baskets. You know, you're going to have to. You're going to be like the ten of ten of wands. So there's a limit to that. Not putting all your eggs in one basket. It may be a case of that you do need to put quite a few in some in one basket. You put some in another, but you know. But knowing this here is is you've got to trust it. You got to you know you got to trust this. What's working for you, basically. I think that's what that leap of faith is all about. Uh, the devil card here, that card wants, definitely wanted to come out. Queen of Swords, what did I say? Getting a really good, clear vision of where you're going and what you want to be. That's what the universe is trying to do. And it's not going to let you off until you get that clear vision. It's going to force it through you because things have got to move. Things have got to move on. <coughs> Let's see what's going on with that Eight of Swords. Yeah, call to mission. Um, it, it definitely happening on the all material side call to mission on there and that's what the page of swords as I said the page of swords opens the pathway uh, and I say this all the time the page of swords he learns how to or they learn how to open the pathway so the knight of swords or the knight can come through depending on whatever page it is but here you've got the page of swords good ideas and that's going to give you that call to mission and get you completely unstuck. You're going to free yourself. It could well be you're changing job this week or you're realising that you're going to have to change job and start applying for other jobs. It's going to make you realise a lot of things that's going to make you move, basically. And you're heading off. You're really, you're, you know, you, you've got your skates on by the looks of it. With the nine of pentacles, you get the ace of wands. Out with the old and in with the new. Yeah, you're moving on. You're really moving on, and you're moving on to very much abundant times. Hmm. I'm now starting to understand the Five of Swords, Five of Wands in a different way. But anyway, we'll get back to that. It, yeah, it's leading on with your passion, and your passion is about what works for you. What is providing those fruits, those Nine of Pentacles? And, you know, seizing it like the five of wands he's seizing that wand there he's seizing that path he's seizing that ace of wands and that's what your guides are trying to make you do here they're trying to sort of say stop you from um, banging your head against the wall in maybe in a job or in a business or in a project that's just not getting you anywhere um and they're trying to sort of say you know there is other possibilities you need to go on and lead on with your passion stop being stuck you're going to get this is this is so this is the actual card and this is the clarification so what it's saying here is saying you freed yourself up and what you're saying there you stop yourself being tied up in knots it's a liberating week for you this week and knowing your power knowing what feeds you financially or feeds you energetically within your workspace makes you feel a lot more comfortable within your workspace is going to provide a lot for you uh, it's going to free you up and get you moving on really nicely and on your relationship side is knowing who you are using that power within you so it actually you radiate that joy from out you it, it, you know through you is going to sort of lead you on to much beautiful um, much more amazing relationships that are around you um that um that provide a lot for you that give you your just desserts as it were and it's going to be the end of any sort of inner conflicts that you may have had in regards to relationships in the future 
because I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not getting any conflict from the outside world. If there, there is, if there has been any conflict in the past, it's, I think it's been more with yourself than anything else. And it seems like that that is totally resolved now. And it's now time to just go on and get on. There you go, Pisces. Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget, you've got your solstice reading, three monthly reading, which you'll find on our channel as well. It'll be linked in my head above me around at some point. Thank you very much for your support for this channel. Uh, yeah, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.